The player ranking system was devised in 1987 as a way of comparing international players. Averages in their most basic form take no account of the circumstances of the match or the opposition, and they also don't reflect a player's current or recent form, so the rankings set out to change that. Today's MRF Tires ICC player rankings are used for all three formats of the game, and there are rankings for batters, bowlers, and all-rounders for both men and women. All international cricketers are rated on a scale from 0 to 1,000 points for both batting and bowling. A player's rating will move up and down as their form fluctuates. After every match, a player's performance is assessed. Let's look first at how they work for a test match. For a batter, the factors considered are runs scored, the ratings of the opposition bowlers, and the level of run scoring in the match. 100 runs in a low scoring innings gets more credit than 100 in a high scoring innings. A batter will also get some credit for remaining not out and will get a bonus for performing well in a victory. Bowlers, meanwhile, are assessed not only on how many wickets they take and runs they concede, but also on the rating of the batter being dismissed, the level of run scoring in the match, their workload. Bowlers who bowl a large number of overs will receive some credit, even if they take no wickets. Bowlers who perform well in victories also get a bonus. After each match, a player's new rating is calculated. In limited overs cricket, so for the MRF Tires ODI and T20I player rankings, the principles behind the rankings are similar, but there are some important differences. Batters gain significant credit for scoring runs quickly. 50 runs off 25 balls earns more credit than 50 off 100 balls. For bowlers, it's not just taking wickets that matters. Economy is important too, especially in 2020 cricket, where a bowler would get more credit for bowling 4 overs 0 for 10 than for bowling figures of 4 overs 2 for 40. There are also rankings for all-rounders, which are found by multiplying their batting and bowling rating and dividing by 1,000. A ranking of 200 points is generally a sign that a player is a genuine all-rounder and 500 points is exceptional. Players who miss matches lose some of their points. Player rankings are continually changing and are updated after every international match.